So beekeeping is well, the process of farming the bees essentially for the honey or the wax, uh, also the, po the pollen or the propolis. An apiary is basically what we would call the area where we actually keep the hives. We call them also bee yards and we keep between 12 and 36 hives in one apiary. Beekeeping seems to be growing as a hobby, I think mostly because of all the problems that the bees have been having. Uh, the bees are getting a lot of press and people are starting to notice that the bees are really important to uh, our ecosystem, but also the, the, our farming and the food that people eat every single day. And the main priority when taking care of bees, uh, especially uh, nowadays, is to keep them free of diseases. There's a lot of problems with disease in hives all over North America really in the world. The beehives consist mostly of a wooden box. We keep uh, nine frames of beeswax in, which are contained in wooden frames as well. Underneath that we've got um, a hive bottom, which has this little landing area for the bees to come in and out and the entrance way for the bees to enter the hive. Bees work from instinct, so for the greater part of the time, they, they will be doing something. If they're not outside foraging the flowers, the greater part of the bees will be inside the hive, helping to uh, store the food that the other bees are bringing in, but also to take care of the brood, the larvae and the eggs that the queen is laying. The queen bee doesn't take care of any of the brood herself. It's the, entirely the job of the worker bees. At the peak of the summer, one hive can hold about 60,000 bees. When their bees are doing a lot of foraging and they're flying a lot, uh, a bee only lives about six weeks. Later in the year, like starting in the fall, they can live for a few months because they're not as spending as much time flying outside and they're spending more time just inside the hive. First of all, the thing you need is probably this, the bee suit that I've got on here. <laughs> um, we all, it also comes with a, a mesh hood to keep the bees off of your face. Uh, this is our hive tool, which we use for prying the frames apart and uh, the boxes as well, since they do get pretty sticky. We also have our smoker, which we use to calm the bees. So for smoker fuel, we use a combination of um, paper and dried horse manure. So first we're gonna take off the top cover here and we just set it to the side. Then the inner cover. And this is the feeder tank. What the smoke does, it makes the bees think that there's a fire nearby. And so they prepare to evacuate the hive. And what they do is they fill up their stomachs with honey so that if they have to be gone away from the hive for a long time, they are, will be able to handle it. Obviously one of the biggest dangers is the bee stings. <laughs> but that can be pretty easily avoided uh, if you're approaching the bees uh, calmly and gently and you're not opening up the hives in bad weather, which irritates them quite a bit. And that you also use the smoker to kind of distract them from the fact that you're poking around in their, in their home. In the two seasons of beekeeping, I have been stung about 15 times. Uh, and I don't react very well to bee stings at all, unfortunately. But I found that the best remedy um, as a preventative measure is to put a penny on the sting because it draws the copper and the penny draws out the bee venom. If you want to take up beekeeping, I would start by uh, doing a lot of reading. There's lots of information available nowadays since it is so popular. And stay in touch with a beekeeper if you're buying bees and equipment from them because they can be a really good resource for all your questions. I love that uh, it's a job that lets me work outdoors. I feel like um, I'm doing something that is actually fairly important to uh, the way that our world is working and that I get to teach people about these really important insects.